This video will teach you how to use the distance formula. The distance formula is shown in the white box. To use the distance formula, you're first going to label your two ordered pairs as x1, y1 and x2, y2. You'll then take those numbers and plug them into the formula and simplify. So for the first example, it says find the distance between the points 2, 6, and 4, negative 5. The first thing you want to do is label your points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Then we want to plug those into our formula. So the formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So when I fill this in, my x2 is 4, my x1 is 2, my y2 is negative 5, my y1 is 6. Then I want to simplify, so 4 minus 2 is 2, negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11, 2 squared is 4. Negative 11 squared is 121, and when I add those two together, I get square root of 125. Some things to notice is if you are squaring a negative number, it will always be positive. So when we get to this final step down here, there shouldn't be any negative numbers under the square root. Then after this, just uh, make sure you're reading your problem. So it might say leave in radical form, in simplest radical form, round to the 10th. So if it says round to the 10th, you'll need to type into a calculator, but for now we'll just leave it in this form. For our last example, we start the same way. We label x1, y1, x2, y2, and then we plug that into our formula. So remember our formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. x2 is 0 minus x1 is negative 2 squared plus y2 is 9 minus negative 4 squared. Remember when we have minus and negative, it's really like addition. When I do that addition, I have 0 plus 2 is 2, and 9 plus 4 is 13. 2 squared is 4, 13 squared is 169, 4 plus 169 is 173. So the answer to this is square root of 173. When you do the practice for this, you need to show all of these steps. I'd highly recommend not trying to type this into a calculator from this step because if you try to do it and you make a mistake when you're typing, it will mess up your problem. So show all this work step by step on your work page for your assignment. 